We arrived on scene at 7.18 a.m. and discovered a solo vehicle collision, and the sole occupant was, again, uh, Tiger Woods. Uh, when I arrived on scene, uh, Mr. Woods was uh, seated in the driver's seat. Um, I made contact with him, and I ensured that he was able to speak to me. Um, at that time, he seemed that as, as though he was still calm and lucid. At the time, they did not see any evidence of impairment, anything that uh, of concern. I asked him what his name was. Um, he told me his name was Tiger. And at that moment, I immediately recognized him. Um, I asked him if he knew where he was, um, what time of day, just to make sure he was oriented. Um, he seemed as though he was lucid and, uh, and calm. It was a solo vehicle. The vehicle traveled several hundred feet from the center, uh, center divider at the intersection and rested on the west side of the road in the brush, sustained major damage to the vehicle. You've seen all the images of that. Unfortunately, Mr. Woods was not able to stand under his own power. Um, our partners at LA County Fire were able to um, extricate him from the vehicle and they put him onto a backboard. Because it is downhill, it slopes and it also, the, it curves, that area has a high frequency of of accidents is not uncommon. The the nature of his vehicle, the fact that he was wearing a seatbelt, um, I, I would say that it greatly increased the likelihood that it saved his life.